Hello everyone. I am Dr. Atiya Arzu. Our today's video is on part two, that is National Environmental Organizations and its headquarters. Okay, this is much more important for all kinds of competitive examinations. So we have to prepare according to examinations point of view. So we will go one by one uh, about National Environmental Organization and its headquarters. Here you can see National Environmental Organization's name, its headquarters and established by and its function. The first one is your Animal Welfare Board of India, which is an advisory and statutory body on laws of animals welfare and to promote it. It was set up in 1962 according to section 4 of Prevention of Cruelty to Animal Act 1960. And its headquarter is at uh, Bal Balabgarh, Faridabad, Haryana. And another organization is National Biodiversity Authority, which is an autonomous and statutory body for advisory and regulatory function under government for conservation and sustainable use of resources and its sharing. And it is created in 2003 under Biodiversity Act 2002. And its headquarter is at Chennai, Tamil Nadu. And another organization is your Wildlife Crime Control Bureau, uh, which is a statutory body to prevent illegal activities like smuggling and poaching. And it is constituted under Wildlife Protection Act 1972. Its headquarter is at New Delhi. And another one is your Central Zoo Authority, uh, whose function is to decide minima standard for zoos and ensure all services to take care of animals. And it is constituted under Amendment of Wildlife Protection Act 1991 by adding new sections of zoos and constituted authority by the central government. And its headquarters is at New Delhi. And another organization is Wildlife Trust of India, uh, which is specially for conservation of nature, specially critically for critically endangered species and threatened habitat with the help of different communities. And its headquarter is at Noida, Uttar Pradesh. And next organization's name is your National Ganga River Basin Authority. Uh, uh, its uh, important function is planning, coordination, and financing for both center and state conservation and reduction of pollution in the Ganga River and using comprehensive planning and management. Okay, it is constituted in 2009 under Environment Protection Act 1986. It is much more important to uh, know, um, uh, know its establishment year and also constituted under which uh, act. And uh, another one organization is Central Pollution Control Board, which provides technical services to Ministry of Environment and Forest under the provision of Environment Protection Act 1986. It uh, coordinates the activity of state pollution control boards and uh, it uh, established under the Water Prevention and Control of Pollution Act 1974. In short, it is also known as Water Act 1974. The uh, headquarter of Central Pollution Control Board is at New Delhi. And mm -hmm. another one is your National Tiger Conservation Authority, uh, whose ma main function is uh, to help the state and the central government in management of tiger reserve specially focuses on tiger reserve. Provide information related to estimation of population of tiger, natural prey, habitat status, and disease outbreaks and mortality surveys. Its headquarter is uh, at Nagpur, Maharashtra. And uh, another one uh, organization is your Forest Survey of India, uh, whose uh, main function is to prepare state of forest report biennially for assessment of country's forest cover and also develop a database for forest and non-forest areas. It was established in 1981 under the Union Ministry of Environment and Forest and Climate Change. The headquarter of this organization is at Dehradun. And uh, another uh, organization is your National Board of Wildlife, uh, which is specially uh, deals with environment impact assessment projects with recommendation on the setting of areas like a national park and wildlife sanctuaries and decide all the activities on the protected areas. And it is uh, constituted under the Wildlife Protection Act 
and uh, its headquarter is at chennai and uh, another one organization is national green tribunal uh, it is well known to us and uh, its uh, role is to uh, handling uh, all the cases related to environmental issues and uh, it is uh, created under the national green tribunal act in 2010 its headquarter is at new delhi similarly another organization's name is uh, genetic engineering appraisal committee which approves field sales for genetically modified crops and can take punitive action for non compliance appraise the activities including large scale use of catastrophic microorganisms and industrial production from an environmental perspective and it is also uh, it was also established in 1989 in accordance with environmental protection act 1986 This is all about major environmental organizations and its headquarters, its basic functions, and the year of establishment and uh, establishment under which act. And several other Indian environmental organizations are also there, like Chintan, Greenpeace India, Help uh, Delhi Waste, Clean Air Asia, and uh, the Wildlife Protection Society of India, uh, Navdanya, Toxic Links, and Vironix Trust. Hara Jeevan Forest uh, Innovation Avani Institute of Sustainable Communication these are several other environmental organizations this is all about uh, the important environmental organization its headquarters and also its functions and uh, it is um, uh, it is coming under which act uh, this is uh, very very important for your examination point of view Uh, and uh, also it is very important for all competitive examinations uh, this is all about today's video so thank you for watching this video